welcome to the second session of our canva classes now today's session will be focusing on editing or creating videos so first and foremost will i have as usual login to my canva account so after that i am going to go for create a design and here you have video again there are various types of videos which you can search if you just type video you can go for a normal video you can go for a video collage you can go for a video message facebook you know see facebook video has a different size if you see a normal video so normal video is much more bigger if you compare it to the facebook video okay so after that you can also see you have linkedin videos you have a mobile video so basically all these are various kinds of video designs which you can create so let's go for the first one that is a normal video okay now as soon as i click it is getting me to a new window which is nothing but a design template where i can use i can add certain things and i'm getting a specific size which i have selected while i had uh, created the particular design first thing what i will do is i will save it i will save it as say canva live class okay so i have just type any name you wish to and you can just press enter so henceforth whatever modifications you are going to do in this video would be saved with the name canva live class video okay now initially they are giving you a 5 seconds uh, of a timeline over here you can see that you can add increase decrease whatever you can extend it up to whatever uh, like minutes you want the video to be created for okay now what we'll do is we will first see here the let's search for a video and see i am searching it over here okay, this is say of 5 seconds but we'll have to add it from scratch okay so what i'll do is i'll go for an element and here i will search for a video okay i want this as a background for example so i am just clicking that so it's getting added as a background you see automatically it, it is playing and uh, currently the duration of this is for 10 seconds so for 10 seconds this animated background is going to display itself okay now say on this Uh, animated background. I want to add some text. So let's go for a text here, and you can either select it from this, or you can also use some recently or the or some more combinations of that which is available. Now let's say I use this. Okay, I have just added that, and let's expand it like this. Okay, and then modify. Say welcome to. live class i want to decrease the size so i have selected all and i i am just clicking on a minus and i have kept my uh, click on okay my mouse click is still there so i am just okay adding it let's say till 70 okay so that's how i want i want to change some colors in it that i can just go here and i can add some different color if i wish to this is a border color which is getting changed similarly okay let's give this i can also go for an effect and say this color i wish to change so i have changed the inner color now okay let's give it something yeah okay this one also was okay so i have changed this and the border color over here if you wish to give something different even that is possible okay let's give it like this okay or you want you can also change it to whatever you wish to make it okay so that is how i have changed it okay the outer color and in the effects i have changed the actual inner color okay which i have given it as the fill color okay one more thing over here you can give it in some different shape like you want it like this so you can add it like this or you want it in a normal one you can take it as a normal one okay you can add the uh, direction now again here i am making it let's say zero i want it like this you can just change this see offset 
this if you don't give a thickness of the border it will not be displayed so here i am displaying the border so i'm increasing it or decreasing it that is how you can see the effect there okay so let's keep it like this okay so now it is visible proper okay now what i want i want it to be animated okay because my background is already animated right so i even want the text to be animated so i can go here click on this three dots i can go for animate here now you have your very basic animations also given you have a simple writing say like this you have something like this you have something like this anyone you want to take it okay say let's take it this as a typewriter one once you select you get here the option now these are all the pro options okay so if you are a free user you would not be able to change the speed or the writing style but as i am a pro user i can do that so i am keeping speed as very low i want it to be displayed like this i like either i wanted a character by character or word by word so word by word would be like this you can see the preview there see like this or if i take it by character i want it like this so let's keep it as a character itself okay then if you want something like this as a bold writing or burst even this is this is great okay so let's keep this one instead of the earlier one okay so again you can increase the intensity of this or decrease the in intensity of this so this is a bit slower if if i increase it it will be a more faster one so i am making it slowly and it should be displayed in this particular format okay now what i want is it should go keep on uh, giving the animation like if once it has done it should not stop it should keep on repeating the animations for example so now what i'll do is first of all let me just play this video i will check how much second it takes to complete one animation okay now here i have stopped it okay because here my one animation got completed now you can see here this is a timeline displayed for me again i will show you okay i am just on the starting i click on the play button i keep a watch on the animation yeah once it is done i have stopped it so i have reached this particular point now after this i am right clicking here and doing a split page now when i do a split page again on this i am selecting this now we had given here burst animation it was intensity was low so again i want this animation to be there okay now if you just look i am just making it start from the beginning this was the first animation which it was then i am having again the second animation like this now again it has stopped so say again i want to give the animation so let's okay now why this has become so fast i will just change this this one it is burst intensity is like this okay one enter yeah let me just check this again so it has stopped uh, previously only okay so let's say i am again doing a split page again on this i am giving burst enter intensity is low let me try it out again this is the first one again the second one let's save it okay again here i am selecting this going to the animation here post intensity okay so let me just see this okay so let's say again here i am doing a split page and on this also i am giving post on enter and fine so now you see this one animation is done again animation continued again the third animation continued again the fourth animation continued so this way i want the animations to be in an recurring format okay now what if i want to play some video over here in between now this is a background which is already animated right i can see that but i want a video to be played so let's say for that i am first search here for an appropriate or let we don't take any frame we just search for a video let's say and this was the background that i had taken see okay let's take this one now it has added completely but i don't want it like that okay what i'll do is i have just 
clicked and dragged it away. Okay, and I am expanding it to whatever size I wish to, but I don't want it to be of so much length. So what I'll do, I have here the trim option, okay. What am I doing is I am just making it say somewhere about for five seconds. So I have trimmed it to five seconds. Okay, that is what I want. Or even let's take less than that. Let's take it say 2.7. I click on that. So now I am clicking it. I'm getting this animation as well as the video is getting played. Now say here I want another video to be played for two seconds. This is for three seconds. This is for 2.9 seconds. Okay. So what I'll do is now I'll go to this particular page. I will add here another video. Let's say, let's take here some different video. Let's take this one. Again, I am just making it to a specific size, which I want it. And even this, I want to trim it to only say 2.1. Okay, done. Then for this video, this particular page, I want another video, so let's take this one. Again, I am doing it like this, making it a customizable size and trimming it to, so let's take three seconds. Okay, done. Now let's come to the last one and let's say, okay, this one. So these are all inbuilt. Now here, what you can do is you can also record something from your screen okay so i will even show you that how can we do but till the time let me just check out with this okay so that is how i have kept it now let us try and see it from the start this is what is will be the first one then it will come to the second then this is the third one and then this is the fourth one so i can you know combine multiple things together and create something new video out of it now one more thing okay uh say so let's keep it to the entire background so that you know we get it entire view to be displayed so i'm just expanding this let us expand this as well looks better say so similarly even this one i'm expanding it to the actual size of it and even this one. So the size of the video is maintained, okay? Combine this as well. Okay, and the last one. So now after this, I want to say continue with the same video. Okay, and I this time I want to record something on my screen and that I basically want to show it to the user. Okay, so what I'll do is I will add up this and just modify this a bit. Looks better, fine. So after this, I want to add another page. Okay, so I can either click on that or what I can do is I can just right click here and I can say add a duplicate page. So same page gets added, but this video, I don't want it. Okay, what I want is I want something to be recorded. So let's go here in the upload. And here you have the option of record yourself. Okay, so if you go for record yourself, okay, I am allowing it to use the microphone, fine. I want to share the entire screen, okay, I have clicked on that. And now I get here this record button, okay. So I don't want the camera, I just want the screen and the microphone, that should be sufficient. So now when I click on the record option, the timer automatically starts. And this is what is getting recorded when I go for Canva recording. So this is what everything, what I'm clicking, I'm opening, everything would be automatically recorded. Once I want to stop the recording, I will have to just click on stop sharing. So over here, you can check this out. See, I'm just playing this now, okay? So now I, have, I want this video to be there, fine. So I'm just saying save and exit. So it will get uploaded over here, okay? And it gets added to the screen. So I'll just remove the earlier one. 
and I will add this over here. Let's add it like this. Okay. And now, okay. So let me just check. Yeah, this is of 14 seconds. Okay. So what I'll do is we can combine this together. So now if you just look from beginning, all the videos automatically getting combined. And this is a complete video which we have created with some text. You want to add some, say, for example, you want to add the company logo or something. Okay. So after this, say, for example, so I can go here in audio. I have your various audios which are available. Whichever I want, I can just check it by playing it. If I, it suits that, I can just add it. Now, my total seconds are only 25 seconds. This is a very big one, but I can adjust it to the, uh, the length of my video. Okay. So what I'll do is I will, let's say, add this. So the audio gets added over here. Okay. So this is what it would be displayed. The rest things, I don't want it. So by default, it would cut short up till 25 seconds only. So whenever I am playing a video, a background music would be also played. Now, how to adjust the sound of this background music? So what I can do, I can just click on this. I have here the volume option. I can, instead of keeping it 100, I'm keeping it, let's say, 7 or 6 or 7, whatever. Something less, because it should be only a mild background music whenever you are playing certain video. I don't want it a complete music because if we suppose want to keep it a video, create a video for some introduction things or something explaining something where a trainer is something explaining it. And at the same time, we want a plain background music to be there in the video. So for that, we can add this music over here. So that's how you can add. Now again, here there are various options which are only available for pro users, but also there are audios available for free users. So if you have a free account, check the particular video or audio which is there for the free account and you can add that.